I don't think about what it's like to be a cop in a world that's so militarized now. So um, I think that a lot of people got mad when I started talking about alternating between um, hollow point bullets and full metal jacket bullets. And what I don't think you understand is that we're at a different point in history than we've ever been at. And um, sometimes it's better to be prepared than not to be prepared. And so I don't fully appreciate how um, me being pissed off in general at everything, just because the nature of my life can lead me to be like, well, screw it. Let's go to war with China. And then once you start thinking about um, rare earth mineral trade or the rare, rare earth mineral trade, um, you... start to realize um, how much China's military could build up so fast. And so um, then, then you start thinking in your head, um, oh gosh, what if they get one nuclear weapon off? And then you're like, well, that's not very, very many, uh, considering that it's a full war. And you're like, well, um, everyone would be so pissed off at me. But really, I mean, really, that, that's exactly what you think. It's like, not, not like, well, I could, I could die. But it's like everyone would be pissed off at me. But um, but that that's when you also realize how important the police are, and how important it is that they the police are so militarized where they can handle. Um, I'm pretty sure they can. Ha I mean, not no one can fully handle uh, enemies with guns that are talented, but um, their body armor can handle full metal jacket. I'm sure. I mean, nine millimeter at least. I mean, but. Um, but some people's body armor can't. And that's why I'm telling, I told people to alternate. Um, because I do understand how, how much um, Kevlar is produced in China, but it's low grade. And so, like, and I, I would be scared to death of um, certain shotgun shells, like slugs. And I would definitely be scared to death behind it, even against full metal jacket, 9 millimeter, millimeter. But I don't know about hollow point, but hollow point still kills more. And that's why... Um, the laws are the way they are in certain places where you can get in so much trouble for having hollow point bullets. But um, having hollow point actually in home defense is kind of a, it's kind of um, important because of the fear of going through walls. So you kind of have to have it. But then in, so, in some states, it's like you're in trouble if you have hollow point, point bullets. Um, so... I don't know why I'm talking about bullets, but I, I have thought enough, uh, I think too much about bullets. And that's that's why I'm actually a lot more reasonable of a gun person than um, I, I seem to sound like because I'm sitting there going, well, three magazines, like, well, three magazines per gun, but also, but then, but the moment you start having more than three magazines per gun, then you start, you should question, um, like, whether or not you need to have three magazines per gun, because if you have a lot of guns, because who's someone that could have a lot of guns? Very easily me so uh, I understand the whole idea of having a lot of guns you have a lot of money you have a lot of guns I, li I like to shoot that's what I do I'm a hunter like plus I just like shooting like it's it's like it's my weekend activity with my friends I'm in a league or whatever I understand where you're coming from because I almost joined the league but then I was like all right I'm never gonna be good enough to be in a league with these guys um, but all I'm saying is um, I have a safe and that's a good thing and it's a good thing for people to have safes but what I was also saying is I understand where the police are coming from, where they get mad at me, but I also um, understand where the criminals are coming from and it'd be better if you don't break down doors because like, can you catch them in transit? Is that kind of the way to do it? Um, can you um, wait, like follow them and then, and then arrest them in public in a certain way that's like, all right, we know what it, it versus going into someone's home because there is something psychological about your home. Um, but sometimes it might be better to get them at home if you uh, have cameras and you know that they're in a situation and they're alone, like say they're in the shower, then maybe like if you already have cameras in there that you put in when they weren't there, but they have cameras. So I don't know. That's the thing about cameras that go both ways. Um, so all I'm saying is um, police should try to be reasonable about how they arrest people, like not 
oh my gosh, you just killed my baby. Um, you just killed my dog. Um, but, um, yeah, they, but I'm, I, but I also am sympathetic towards the police because if there's anything I understand is you're, you are going against serious threats, but the problem is, um, like, like we should all be on the same side, especially when we're in a world situation like we're in. And I mean, I really don't think I realized how, how close I pushed the Chinese to the brink of war and how many bullets a person can make. And, um, I guess that does give people jobs, but then that also requires raw materials, right? And so we, we a, a lot of people have a lot of raw materials. Then you have to think about the way the United States is with shooting and how these ranges save people's um, cartridges. Um, but um, so that's about our raw materials. But the Chinese have the resources to have a lot of raw materials, and I don't think I fully understand like the resource resources to make missiles and stuff like that and um, how um, messed up it is of me to push them to make so many weapons. Um, but, you know, maybe someday they will be useful, but I do think that we should like, all have an, a more organized effort together towards finding solutions. And, um, yeah, that's, what, that's all I'm trying to say. But I also am trying to say I don't think I realize how hard I've pushed the Chinese to the point of war and I mean it's just kind of like Singapore my understanding is that Singapore Singapore has actually been really cool and I assume Singapore is not a certain way when when it's actually better than it is but I or be, better than I thought it thought it is well it's better than I thought I think uh, but I don't but even then but I still I still don't know anything and that's that's the truth I don't know anything but um, I do know that I have pushed Chinese and I I didn't fully understand that, like, you, your reaction is that you're going to fight me, and um, I guess I just don't understand it. It's like, for me, psychologically, it's like when I'm sober, it's like, well, why would you want to fight me? That's it's insane. But then when I'm when I'm high, when I when I smoke pot, yesterday I was sitting there going, oh my gosh, like we're we're that close to the point of war. I didn't even I didn't I didn't think I mean I didn't I didn't think they would even. But. Because you just assume that they're going to want to be on your side. But then it's like, no, you don't understand history. You will never understand history. So I don't know. I, I do think I need to be more sensitive. But um, I don't know. I also feel like I should be able to talk to people.